stuff for these cars and all that stuff. All yeah. that stuff is yeah, all that's that's budget. And so in in Marquita's month is Thanksgiving and uh, travel um, for Thanksgiving and her birthday um, and whatever else. So everything is budgeted yeah, every single month. Right. So even if Marquita does like to eat, um, like Leticia said, I like to shop, I like to eat. Fine. On the budget. So in, and, and, and if we're buying one another some stuff, uh, um, for the most part, that's budgeted too. Mm-hmm. I right, hear you go miscellaneous budget yeah. for my birthday. Yep. Um. Now, of course, it's easier that if, like you all share, like you you share, Marky, if that's separate, so that I won't see it, or you won't see it, depending on who we're getting it for, mm-hmm. you know. Um. Because you could just grab that money, take it, and put it in that separate account, and do whatever you want to do with it. Um, but then it's, but gonna it's, still a, it's gonna be a withdrawal. Where is money going to? Where that money at? But if it's budgeted, then we understand. Okay, that's that money was taken out for yeah. that. So that mm-hmm. then that becomes a system, all right? Right. I'm gonna take this amount of money. And that's a good thing because we communicate that too. Make sure you do that. We communicate. Okay, this is the amount for your birthday. I'm going ahead and take that out. Right. So we do that. I mean, so and. We still can surprise and all. I'm not sure why birthdays always have to be a surprise. They don't have to always be a surprise, but it we still surprise one another and all that. Uh, but we do it from from a budget standpoint. Like we say, hey, uh, the budget for birthdays this for your and, birthday is ten dollars. And but I was, I was just saying no, but budget is mm-hmm. just not ten dollars. But I was just we saying, don't say ten dollars. We don't need to actually say a, a, a real. That's just an example. Budgets don't have to be. Doesn't mean doesn't have to mean cheap. Because sometimes that has a negative connotation. Like, if you budget, or you, you being cheap. And if you, you know, know us at all, neither one of us are nowhere near cheap. No. But we do budget. Right. Like, say, this is $10. So, mm-hmm. uh, before, Marquita started talking about these separate accounts for these birthdays and stuff. <sighs> um, before, you know, we just know this amount of money is going to come out of the account for this birthday or for Valentine's Day, whatever it's holiday is. And as it comes out, so it's better, honestly, as my Peter was sharing, have a, have a little separate thing because you got to purchase these things. And usually they purchase ordering stuff. Uh, rarely are they purchased just with cash. And so you see those orders. Um, yeah. But if you think, if, but I've always done it, and Marquita has too, we just do it different ways where you don't necessarily see the orders. To make it easier, you just have a, a, a different account. Mm hmm. So you don't see the expenditures, that right? Makes sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But of course, also w- with now with having the basis of all of this is trust. Mm-hmm. Now so you have y'all won't go broke. Just trusting one another that, that you're not doing something um, under, under, shady yeah. on the side, right? Or disloyal on the side, or whatever. Or so, like using all the money, right? Or uh, irresponsible. Responsibly, that's it. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, she, 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 what did she say? Can you see it on your one? Alright, so she, she said she said a lot. Car wash and gas falls in our own account. If something happens to a car or anything comes up unexpectedly, then Jody accounts for that out of his account. What? That's what works for them. And then she says, I don't do well with budgets. <laughs> I don't do well with budgets. Oh, because I know my weakness. So instead of arguing over finances, we came up with a solution and that works. I'm sorry. A solution I like that works. Oh, yeah. A solution What's that works. What's the solution works? that works? So be quite honest, Marquita is, I'm the finance person mm-hmm. in our home. Because I always spend on food, stuff for the children. I get all my bills, but the extra money, I'm like, what can I spend it on? And so it's, uh, it could be said that Marquita doesn't do well with budget, with budgeting as, as the teacher shared. Because I'm thinking of the entire thing, right? So Marquita may be like, okay, for this week, I paid this bill, this bill, and that bill, and there's still money 
seemingly left <laughs> over. So what can I spend it on? And we in the first week, not realizing that a whole rest of the month to go. There are other expenditures coming out. Yeah. And um and there are other bills that need to be paid. So I just do better with that. And also I, I don't budget to the very penny because things just happen. You know, um so and that was my my thing, budgeting everything down to the penny. Then, you know, something may change, the electric bill may change. Anything. See, yeah, and I miscalculate and I'm like, dang, yes, look at the target, here I come. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, and so I'm home good, girl. <laughs> with that, we actually denote now see now this may be a little much for everybody. Um and I don't I don't want to say that the budget we use because they're not paying. But uh we we <sighs> write down or denote every expenditure. Like if you go and you buy uh, some, Chinese food. some Chinese food. It's eleven dollars. You put that in the restaurant money. Or groceries. Or groceries. Yeah. And then it deducts from it. All right, now you got two more dollars for groceries for the rest of the month. What I'm gonna do. You know what I mean? So uh or if you got four hundred dollars a lot of for uh gas for the car this month, fine. Go ahead. So you spend thirty dollars on gas, car, put it in there. And then and mm-hmm. for us we put the gas we put in there, we we denote what car got what gas. I've mm-hmm. uh, got how much gas. Uh, and it is not evenly distributed to all the cars we have, it's just put it in as we know. Enough gas for the trip we're going on. Yeah, and then we don't just put enough gas for the trip we're going on. <laughs> no, that but, would be out here. <laughs> uh, but the, the the point is that everything is denoted. Now I am better with actually keeping up with it. Yeah, not um which is why I would, you know, I just won't spend, but it, it and that's not good because it'll be times where I want to get my nails done, I want to get my hair done, but I don't feel like trying to figure out what's what's going on with the with the money, and I, so I'll just skip it and I'll omit myself. So I have been trying to do better with that as far as balancing and actually being more attentive, paying more attention. I'm not saying I'm gonna get it, but um, I'm, I think I'm doing better. So those are my new shit. I, I, I want to talk about um, the other portions mm-hmm. where you have married people. Now, I need some help because uh, I always give you all my opinion. I'm not giving you all Bible. I'm giving you all my opinion. I need some help with those couples that are team separate mm-hmm. where you're married and your money is not together um, and you, you don't really know what the other person is doing or not doing. Um, with their money or even how much they make, um, I want to know the 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 the, the mindset behind that. Not yeah, whether that is good or bad, or it's right or wrong, but I want to know the mindset behind that. For me, in talking to so many couples, usually the mindset behind that is some level of distrust mm-hmm. or some level of control and secrecy, because I I just need this for me. But yeah. why? And and the control is you don't need to know how much I make, uh, and I may have paid the bill, I may not pay the bill. Just you know, I, I got it. You know what you got on your end. Well, uh, this is what I got on my end. You mm-hmm. know, well then you put half of it on, okay? I put my half of it. Now here go my half. That's how my granddad was. And you go on your other corner, get your half, <laughs> and you know, which that people do that, but. I'm not saying that's right or wrong. I just want to understand the science behind that, like like the thought pattern behind it, the mindset behind that. Um, Hold on. She just said, Pastor, pray for me. I spend the grocery money on my takeout. Then she said, come to the rescue. I, I think I have Jody a problem. Come to <laughs> no. Jody, oh, come to the rescue. Is that Jody or Superman? Oh, no. It's probably Jody. <laughs> that happens. That happens to a lot yeah. of us. We spend... Grocery money on takeout. But we eat. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Um, so that's what I want to understand. Maybe nobody uh, is, is doing it that way. but Yeah, do, do we have anybody on here that actually has a separate account? All right, married 17 that will, years. I'm sorry. That, or that will, that feels as if, if they do get in a uh, committed relationship, that they're still going to keep their account separate. And your reasoning for that. I won't even Dana. Then what you gonna do? <laughs> Why are you leaving me not so alone? <laughs> yeah. Then what you gonna do? You gonna you gonna keep your stuff separate still? 
All right, Joe you says, it. married 17 years in July. We have always had joint accounts. We really started seeing a big difference in our budget when we started paying all the bills at the beginning of the month. Once we did that, we was able to sow all the extra money each, or see all the extra money each month. Uh, money took is to another level, nine savings and budget. Mm. Oh, another level of savings and budget. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's, 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 um, I'm not sure if there's any, uh, merit to this, but that's what we do too. All of our big bills are at the very beginning of the month. Um, and they come out rapidly. Pop, 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 pop. They hit the account us, quick. There's, there's a lot of them at the very beginning of the month. Uh, but then for me, I did that. Uh, no, you good, uh, Joe. I did that because it just gave me an ease of stress for the rest of the month. I know the rest of this stuff, um, as, as it comes out, maybe the alarm system or um, uh, whatever. It's stuff that be, you know, insurance, insurance here and there. Mm -hmm. You know, those, those are not big heavy stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so for us, we, we, we do similar to the same thing. For me, it was a, uh, a better stress, a, a better... Uh, less stressful. Yeah, reliever. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so for, the, the, for for it to be set up that way. Right. So the, so the end of the month and the beginning of the month is uh, heavy hitters. Is, is heavy hitters or is where my mind becomes really really focused mm -hmm. because I know the, the end of the month that money needs to be in there. Right. For the beginning of the month when all the money comes out. Right. When all the bills are uh, are, 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 are coming out. Mm -hmm. So um and and for and that's why. It's it just it just works for us that it's together. Mm -hmm. You know yeah, what I mean? We don't have to say I need the bar some of your money for this because I need this. I'm short on that. I'm short on this. Just put everything in the pot, like Kamisha was saying. Put everything in the pot, and when those because some of the stuff is automatic. Well, a lot of stuff is automatic, and nowadays if you have an automatic bill set up and you know you don't have what you need to have in there, then that's that's a negative mark on your um. Yeah. Um, and, and your budget, and that yeah. will hurt you because then you got overdraft fees, and then you just all that stuff add up. Dana, where you at? <laughs> Why you bother her? And so, but now again, I've we've set with couples that things are separate. I know there's one couple uh, where things are separate. Uh, one because uh, uh, the husband is just stingy. Uh, he is stingy and selfish. And so their stuff is separate, you know, like uh, she don't know what he got going on and he don't know what she got going on. And they both make good money. Uh, but when it's time to, 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 to do something, they, they even make big decisions separate. Like she, she may come home with a new car and he had no idea because <laughs> <laughs> everything is separate. You know what I mean? And he may come home with, 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 with a new car and um she doesn't have any idea but then you start thinking about stuff like that i mean y'all actually just living two separate lives because those, those are big deals this this is going to affect us some kind of way but, it, but then like, it but then it becomes that's your, your show stuff right that's yours you're gonna do it that so if your jump break down joe did not come to the rescue because that's on you you know it's, it's stuff like that right. and that you, i mean it's like what happened we must be a team together yeah, and to me, that's to divide it. To me, uh, there is some selfishness there, uh, and there's some um, uh, trust issues there. We're in, uh, you know, we can't, you know, do our stuff together. And with that, you don't really know probably how well you guys could do together mm -hmm. because you won't divulge that. Mm -hmm. And you probably could be even much further, this is my opinion again, even much further than you are if you divulge that. Right. So she said, oh, no, 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 no big, big decisions decision. made That's right. without each other's approval. And then even for us saved folks, uh, the Bible teaches us where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So if your treasure is over <laughs> in your account, your that means, I know, child. Hey, hey, bro. Don't, don't do that. I got you know. Where I'm not that. My, I'm not that. What? I'm trying not to say it. <laughs> I'm going to say it. I started to show y'all my, my wife's. My bad bedroom shoes. House shoes. Yeah, they bad. Between Ooh. me and the dog. All right, so what can say? What I was saying was. Oh, I'm sorry. That's right. I got to get back to the words. 
what I was saying about the word is, it says where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So a lot of times that kind of proves when your treasure is separate, you selfish and you stingy. Your 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 heart is with you. Your heart is focused only on you. All right. Make sure you straight. And I peel something off if you need a little sign. But other than that, it's my money. What Ken said? So say? Ken says she can come home with whatever she wants just as long as I don't have to put my money in. If we're doing it separately. Oh, okay. If I, That caveat, because I'm like, where your treasure is, Ken. <laughs> it's selfish, Ooh. in my opinion. It's selfish. When y'all, when y'all doing stuff separately, and one may be doing it separately because the other doesn't want to do it together. And of course, that 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 causes that person to be separated. Um, although perhaps they want to do it together, but that person, the other person, doesn't want to. So they may not both be selfish. Maybe one that's uh, selfish or controlling um, or insecure. Mm-hmm. Um, one could be insecure because uh, they don't want other person to know they don't make as much as they may uh, uh, say they make, or may may the other person may think they make. And it's like, don't worry about how I get it done. I just I, I just get it done. Some people are taught that, though, from, you know, that you keep yourself separate just in case. And to me, that's kind of like sword and discord. Yeah, it's it's almost a, yeah, it's a, some type. Um, that's almost like sword, sewing discord. discord. Um, cause like our foundation is, is already going to have a crack in it because some stuff I got to keep separate versus us starting together. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I'm. I mean, that's just my humble opinion. I don't. Uh, I can understand because of the mindset and the environment that some people were, were brought up in, um, and the things that they were taught. I think all of that is rooted in some type of discord or fear, and some type of oh, definitely fear and some type of uh, distrust. Because money can tear up a relationship. Mm-hmm. Finances can, can tear up a relationship, um, and it's it's and and you're gonna have issue in a relationship with finances if, to my opinion, if there's no true togetherness. Now there is a few. I mean, there's a a, a, a an actual understanding of a, a foundation of understanding about y'all separate accounts, and and it's and it's an actual system. Then then fine. And say for instance, somebody's on child support. And they don't want y'all money to be garnished. So I have this pay this account over here just to make sure that that money comes out of this account. But or you know if they owe back support or something like that, so the government sometimes can come and try to garnish everything, not caring if it's two people that's actually putting in that pot. I can understand us having a separate checking account for that particular measure until, you know, we get caught up and then we'll get together and do whatever. That's just an extreme example on my in my opinion. Okay, but the um if there is communicated if there's a communicated system for your separatistness, then fine. But if it's not and if it's just like nah I ain't I am I'm, I'm not doing that or you only know all this then it's going to cause a problem. Because the person is, is um oh he said that does happen Pastor Jake. You my child support stuff? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay cool. But if there if, if if it's not a communicated situation and it's like nah we don't we don't do that, it's, it's gonna an cause issue. Problem. Yeah, that's gonna be an issue. Eventually it's gonna cause a problem. Because here's here's You're the already deal. coming in high. Marquita and I um are nowhere near perfect. Mm. Um but we do not. We're not in the line of people, uh, or in the list of people who say that, uh, you know, finances is one of the biggest arguments. Mm-hmm. We've mm-hmm. we've never had uh, a financial argument. Nope. I think I've shared this with you guys before, but I'll share it again since we in in this topic that we made a pact um, very early on in our relationship, probably before we got married, that we would not fight about money. Um, mm-hmm. Just wouldn't, and we just, we've never had. We've been t- together uh, probably 17 years. We've been married 16 years in October, so we've been married 15 years now. Um, but we just never had a financial argument, you know what I mean? Be- be- because uh, we've been financially disappointed. 
We've been financially oh, frustrated. Okay. Yeah. Um, but we've never but we've never argued at one another. We've never had contention right. between so, one another mm-hmm. regarding finances. Because if we got it, we got it. We don't. We and don't. we do it together. Mm-hmm. Whatever we're doing, we're, we're, we're doing it uh, uh, together. Um, and our finances have never been even. Right. Um, and that's because that's not that's not the that's foundation. The you know what I mean? Or you got to be even. And no, it's not. It's, it's, it's not. But we just decided that that's we're going to do this together financially. And there's one thing we just talking about. All right. Mm-hmm. What, did, uh, what, what Joe says for the separate account couples. I have a question. What do you do when one person chooses to buy a car and they fall in financial trouble? And can't pay. Do you help or just let the person car and credit take the hit? Mm. Now I'll tell you what has been what has happened in the past. Usually that spouse go to the other spouse um, and try to you know get their love from them to help them. If they are willing to divulge that they fall into financial um, restraint, because they may not be willing to divulge that they fall into financial restraints, because that may shed light on why they fell into some financial restraints. They may not be willing to share that. Mm-hmm. So for the most part, they may try to, you know, all of a sudden now they're lovey-dovey and now we're so in love with one another I need you to help me. Mm-hmm. When that's not really the catalyst of this relationship. <laughs> um, and yeah, so... You better call an Uber. <laughs> yeah, and so what usually happens is that it goes back to that ain't my issue. Right, I was just going to say that. And usually when that happens, glad you said that, Joe, because usually when that happens, Purchases that they have, and of course, Jill has another concept of this mm. from a business standpoint. Mm. But purchases that they have are usually one sided anyway. Like mm. we we don't have our name on everything together, mm. so that's your issue. That ain't that ain't my issue, and it, it's not gonna it's not gonna hurt my credit no way. So you got that? That's on you. And to me, when that happens, and it does, then that becomes uh, that sheds light on the selfishness. Also. If that happens, and yet they try to figure it out, then it becomes it, it gives the one who did not have the issue that upper hand of control, with that, yeah. which is probably why they yeah, have the 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 the, the, the uh, account separate anyway. Because one person really is after control, and after control probably because of some insecurity of how they handle money. They don't really want you to see how they handle money, which is now it causes an insecurity of from them and like I was sharing that is very that's a very good point because some people do do that I'm sorry I didn't mean to cut you off some people really do do that um they don't want you to see how they handle right. the money because I handle it poorly but I've right. made you to think that I'm, I got it again I'm the, I'm that dude or I'm that I'm that I'm that boss lady I handle my business mm-hmm. but in reality you don't like you <laughs> horrible with it probably but I don't want you to see that because it's insecure it's an insecurity of me uh, of mine. And was, some people weak and fall prey to stuff, you know, investing in everything that they can invest in because they're trying to flip and make this and, you know, do that. And, it, and some are just poor with, with poor money with, management. With um, management. Mm-hmm. You got a microphone over there. Oh, yeah. God bless you. Bring the microphone back. God bless you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Who is selfish, me or her? I'm trying to understand. So if selfish, if I don't help her, yeah, both of y'all are selfish. If that's your wife, you're one, and all of a sudden you decide you're not gonna help her, then you're no longer one. That's where people um, really forget um, when they got married. Like Friends. we are actually one. We're actually one person. We're, like we're one unit. Before you go deep into that, let me let, let me share more light on. Um, Oh, we got some on insecurity. I was sharing this with uh, my daughter. The essence of insecurity. Insecurity is not um, um, just in, just negative, bad, bad, bad. Insecurity is on a lot of things. Like say, for instance, if I uh, stub my toe, mm. now I become insecure about my toe, not by how it looks. Uh oh. Mm. Can y'all hear us? Test the one, two, three, it's the same phone. Yeah, thumbs up. Y'all can hear us clearly. Can you hear us clearly? 
clearly? Can you hear us clearly? Okay, baby, stop that. Okay. <laughs> All right, babe. Um, so, what was I saying? Before Marcella interrupted us. <laughs> you talking about the selfishness? <laughs> insecurity. <laughs> so, if I stub my toe, I become insecure about my toe. So, I'm very cautious of my toe. I'm not insecure if you say it's ugly or anything. I'm just very cautious. So if you come near me, my insecurity uh, uh, raises or activates, and I may snap at you. You have no idea my toe is hurting. You have no idea that I stubbed it, but you just came too close to me too quickly, and I back up. That's because that's my insecurity speaking. You know what I mean? Or if all of a sudden you start moving furniture around around me, I'm insecure about my toe. And so I don't want you hurting it. And so now I'm like, why you got to move the furniture right now? It's not about the furniture. It's not about you moving it. It's that I'm actually, uh, my insecurity has been activated Jesus. because of how I feel about my toe. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's just, it's really Wait, let me, so let me finish. clear. Let me finish because I, I, I lose it again. So the same thing about money. If you don't do money well, you know that. So the security of you, or if you don't make as much much money as you want him to to think or her to think, and it's it's an a private insecurity of yours. So when it comes to asking about money or asking about access to this, um, or doing stuff together, you go start snapping like you did with your toe. Because you're trying to keep them away from this insecure spot. So, you no, know, our stuff is separate. And um, don't ask me about that. Mm. You know what I mean? I'll let you know. Because you're snapping at them in an effort to keep them from your insecure mm -hmm. um, truth spot, which is also your truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and that's what happens. People will say, nah, you know, I don't really want our stuff together. Not just because. They're different selfish, but not just because they rather be apart, but it's because there is probably an insecurity there. My soul says she's trying to help us next time. What'd she say? <laughs> she's not going to help us next time. She's trying to help us. So you're going to have to repeat yourself. Now you're interrupting us again. By Leave that. her alone. Oh, my God. So you're going so, so you to pause the whole uh, uh, live to tell us you're not going to help us, and you're going to make sure that we fail. Mm -hmm. Really? You're going to interrupt the whole live to, to say Can't you want to help us fail, Marcella? Everybody, this is Marcella. Leave uh, just, just, just in case you want to know who's doing this, uh, indictment unto us. Her name is Marcella. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ken says, hold up. I didn't tell her to go get the car. She didn't ask me. She just like, hey, guess what I got? A brand new car. <laughs> you know, I'm going to be like, who paying for this? We already robbing Paul to pay Peter, and now you got a car, and I'm still selfish. <laughs> I can't. If she got a car on you, y'all ain't talked about anything like that. The car is the least of y'all problems. Okay. Because if she decided to get a car without telling you, knowing she really couldn't take care of it. The crack in y'all foundation happened way before she got the car. <laughs> and it showed its head way before she got the car. This is just another iteration of the crack in the relationship. What's wrong? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's still laughing. <laughs> ah. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. So anyway, um, uh, especially y'all on YouTube, I want to know, put in the comments, what, what, what are your thoughts about finances um, together or separate? We talked about earlier, you can also put it in the comments that we talked about earlier, uh, what does your exes say about you? Uh, your choice in exes, what do they say uh, mm -hmm. about you? <laughs> See, Marcella, all we do is show love. Uh, we appreciate you. We love you as well. Yeah, she's, about she's sick of us, though. She so like us. Ooh, <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> she said, are we separate now? She said she's sick of it. We team together. Just get her words right. Sick of it. 
Now she's sick of us. She's sick of the wow. treatment. I can't believe that though. Not coming from this end. So you're gonna keep separating us like that? It's not coming from this end. Okay. <laughs> ah! I'm trying to protect the girl. So anyway, put y'all put in the comments. What what tell me how y'all do y'all finances. We wanna we wanna know, you know, what's 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 working for you. And then we wanna know if you got an issue with um uh how y'all do y'all finances. Mm-hmm. Um, so that may be a top, another topic, but we can shed some light on, on it. Um, and we're not saying that our way is the way to go. We're saying that our way. Do what works, works for, for you us. guys. <laughs> and also just be confident in, and knowing that whatever way works for you guys, works for you guys. It doesn't create little fires everywhere. But I am uh, sharing this. If what you do doesn't work for you. Then you might need to talk about it. Yeah. Because perhaps what you're doing doesn't work for you, and you ain't said anything. You're just going with it. You you you're just going with to it to keep down the tension, keep down the arguing, and all that. And then perhaps it is working for you. Because again, there's there's other couple I was, that I was referring to. It seems to work for them. They are both quite selfish. I was going to say that <laughs> that's their personality. Hey. But it it's, it seems to work for them. Uh, but now I will say this. Now y'all gonna really get uh uh whatever. But the reality that that it that selfishness, that separateness, that separateness, separate, mm-hmm. that separateness also shows itself in other parts of their relationships. Mm-hmm. That separateness is not just finances. That separateness also shows itself in other parts of the relationship. Tension, uh, and all of it. In, uh, infidelity and everything else. Mm-hmm. So if it's it's not just oh it just work for us. Well, it may do, but it also sheds some light as to what may be happening in other parts of the relationship. Mm -hmm. Y'all share this. Good night. Good night. Oh, listen, if y'all haven't um, uh, subscribed to YouTube, do that now. Hit the subscribe button on on YouTube. Tell us what you uh, want to talk about, and uh, we'll get to it. Thank y'all for joining us. I said good night. I start yawning. Good night. Good night, everybody.